So, as I always say, so sitting here in the rain, well, the sun just came out, so it might go away. At a uh, boat launch in uh, North Thetford, Vermont, on the Connecticut River, I thought I'd just uh, toss a lure in there a few times just to see. Also, checking out how busy it is here. Of course, it's a Wednesday little afternoon on a rainy day. Well, it didn't start out raining, but it's raining now, and so there's not many people here, but. Uh, Anyway, I think I'll do that anyway. I won't stay out long, probably. And uh, I'll take you along with me and see what uh, develops. <laughs> All right, well, it's pretty much stopped raining. It's maybe a sprinkle. Let's see where we, what we got here. Oh, look at that. They built steps down in there so you could fish from here and get in the water so that's uh, New Hampshire over there you see the remains of a bridge which used to come from uh, uh, New Hampshire over here to uh, North Thetford that's uh, basically uh, the north end of uh, the town of Lyme, although the you don't get to the town proper for a ways uh, headed south. So this is north, if anybody's interested. That puts us on the Vermont side of the river. Uh, with the Vermont license, you can fish the river, uh, but you can't stand in New Hampshire and fish the river. However, you can be on a boat and go out as far as you want or in, in as close as you want and fish. So kind of an interesting setup. The one I caught at uh, not gonna tell you lake uh, was with a different pole. Collapsible. This one comes in half but it doesn't collapse. Collect the fixings for a salad. Funny thing about this river, I think I've mentioned it before. is the river flows south that way but the wind is predominantly north to the north and uh, so if you're out there you're likely to get pulled through the uh, pushed I should say to the north as opposed to the south, despite the fact that the current goes south. Now, for those of you who are real fishermen, I do have a closed face reel here. Started out with a bait caster when I was little. So if you didn't really cast, we just had worms on hooks with a sinker and uh, fished off our dock or off the boat. Whoa! -oh. This one could be interesting. Yep. Got a little bit of tree in this one. This spinner bait because I've had some luck with it in the past. Mostly Lake Maury and Lake Fairley. Mm. 
Incidentally, I'm fishing from shore here because the boat's still in the shop. I'm hoping end of next week, maybe. We'll be ready. Maybe what I'll do is try a different uh, lure. I didn't bring any live bait. A lot of times I'll fish with worms and stuff, but didn't bring any of that today. And I want to check and see how the camera's doing. Okay, so I switched out lure and uh, oops, we'll see how that goes. Apparently, also twisted the line, and that never goes well. Sun come out, and uh, nice and warm. Switch baits again. All right, so we got a nice bright little uh, lure here, which is actually. Sinker. No, I was hoping that'd give me a little more distance, but that's all right. I don't know if you heard that. The uh, clock in the church tower in, here in North Bedford just bonged, and it's right on time. One o'clock. Okay, last cast.
going to do it for today's uh, high tension, extremely exciting fishing experience vlog thing, no Bob. Some of you may think, well, that was a bust. Didn't catch anything, not very successful. But for me, uh, just being out here, that success, success plus, as Edison would say, uh, those thousands of uh, different things he attempted to uh, try to use for uh, his incandescent bulbs uh, that didn't work. Somebody said, weren't you discouraged by all those failures? And he said, they weren't failures because I learned something every time. And today I learned banana peel on a weedless hook uh, between 12 and noon in this spot may not work. All right, well, uh, I was here about an hour uh, and uh, don't worry, I'm going to, as you'll see, I'll condense that down. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I may do this again someday if I don't fall in the water. <laughs> okay. <laughs>